Yo, what up with the YouTube? It's the Real Boss TV 815. You already know what it is, man. Say, today, not too long ago, that boy Lil' Kim was in court, man. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm going to let y'all see what they're saying. Uh, it's kind of interesting right now how it's going to play out. He ain't looking really too uh, concerned either, man. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all take a look at this, and then we're going to talk about it for a second. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know everybody wondering what's going on with that, but yes, he's in court right now. He just might have just got out, but he's trying to get bond or whatever. But check it out. All right. With breaking news involving the murder of Takeoff the rapper, no one has been charged. But today, a man connected to the case appeared in court. <clears throat> Stephanie Whitfield joins us live at the criminal courthouse with the very latest. Steph. To be clear, Cameron Joshua is not charged with murder. He's charged with two counts of possession of a firearm. But prosecutors say surveillance <clears throat> video from the night of Takeoff's murder shows him there holding a weapon. They say, okay, now I want to stop that right there because they got him like just like we thought of what I heard. They got him because we all know they had a lot of cameras in there and they said that he did have a weapon at that time. But they saying he ain't a shooter, which I don't, you know, that's not, that lets you know that they really own it as far as it being high profile because the fact that they come back later to arrest him for having a gun, I mean, I don't know. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take a look at this. But. A witness confirms that, too. You may remember Migos rapper Takeoff was shot and killed on November 1st in downtown Houston. He was attending a private party at the 810 Billiards and Bowling Alley. The deadly shooting happened outside afterwards. Mm. Police have said the shooting stemmed That's from crazy. an argument. We heard from prosecutors and defense attorneys after the hearing this morning. Joshua's defense reiterated in court that he is not accused of firing a weapon or killing anyone. We believe Cameron Joshua has been appropriately charged in this case, and we're continuing our investigation into the death of Takeoff. If they thought he was involved in the shooting, they would have charged him. Mm -hmm. Joshua is out on bond for an auto theft out of California, so his bond could be revoked in that case. So this bond hearing was reset until that is sorted out. Now, again, right now, Cameron Joshua is charged with possession of a firearm, and his attorneys say the bottom line is he did not he shoot did the rapper takeoff, and he hopes to say. get out on bond and clear his name. Rika, back to you. All right, wow. Stephanie, thank you. And of course, we're going to stay on top of this story, post any updates on the investigation onto our website. We'll have another live report coming up at four. And of course, to read more about the life and legacy of Takeoff, just head, head to KHOU.com. Man, so shout out to Takeoff. But man, like the, the way that they're saying this, it's just like, man, it's making me wonder, like, how is this going to really play out, man? They're, they're, they're not. So they're not pointing the finger at Migo Benz at all. Whether, whether or not a lot of people thought that he accidentally uh, shot takeoff, they're not they're not uh, pointing the finger at him. But they're saying from the footage they got on camera, they know that that little Kim had a gun, but they say he didn't shoot. So I feel like if that's the case, if that's what they really believe, you know what I'm saying? Then right now they're trying to get little Kim to talk or something, basically. Because they know for a fact that he probably know who did. You feel me? Or whoever he was there with. So right now, it seems like they're just trying to get everybody shook up, scared, round some people up so people can't just take off and get away. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are going to try to get out of Dodge. And they just stand on everybody because they're probably just trying to keep everybody in line, keep everybody, you know, some little charges so you can't just hurry up and leave the city. And once they put everything together, then it's going to be a wrap. You know what I'm saying? But 
don't know. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think about this. They're saying that he uh that he don't he didn't he didn't pull the trigger, man. And they got proof that they're saying that he didn't pull the trigger, which down that's that's what's really messing me up right now because they got proof. They got proof that he had a firearm. And the proof that they're using to arrest him on a firearm is also proof that he didn't shoot, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, this could play out a lot of ways. It's not no telling who really did it, you know what I'm saying? And we really just got to sit back and check it out and, and see what happens, man. I know everybody trying to get justice. Everybody want to know who did it and all that. But this case, right now, it's starting to look like it's going, it's going, it's going to take a little while, man. It's not going to be. It looks like it's going to take a little while because right now, the way they're moving, they are really moving like they don't. I don't know. I don't know what that what their plan is. What they're trying to do with this one. You know what I'm saying? But most likely, I feel like they're just trying to get him. Uh, get him caught up on some little trumped up charges and then try to get him to go ahead and uh, talk or say something. You feel me? That's just my honest op opinion on that one, man. But, you know, that's just how the game go. But like I said, I still want to point out the fact that everybody wanted to say they feel like uh, Migo Benz, Migo Benz, Migo Benz. All of all them, all them, uh, Rumors about Nico Bands actually hitting him look like he might not be true. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't I don't think the ballistics came out yet. You feel me? I really don't think the ballistics came out yet. So that is something that we're gonna have to look at. But <clears throat> as of right now, man, it's looking like Nico Bands ain't in no trouble. And they trying to say Lil Cam ain't in no trouble. So Everybody gonna have to go back to the drawing board, start look, looking at some stuff, and see what's going on. But it's still interesting that the fact that they're saying that he had a gun, because we never see. So what footage are they seeing? If he had a firearm, what? Because we didn't see him with a firearm. What footage are they seeing? I don't know, man. Like I said, this this right here is is kind of it's kind of tricky because in the footage we seen, well, we know they got other footage. We know they got other footage. And the footage that we seen, we didn't see no firearm. So at what point was his firearm showing? At what point would he had he had it out, you know? Was did he just bring it out because you know he was scared for his himself too, or what? Or somebody handed it to him, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Y'all just let me know what y'all think about this, man. It's the real boss TV815. I'm out of here.